Have you noticed when you step outside after work uh, in the afternoon now that the world looks like it's in night mode on your phone? Oh, yeah. Do you have this? So I have night mode set on my phone from 7 Mm p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh-huh. And it takes the blue screen, mm-hmm. the, the blue light from your screen, and makes it yellow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically warmer. Mm-hmm. And so, like, you're supposed to sleep better at night. I don't know. Well, yeah, because blue light mimics daylight, so it doesn't uh, trigger the melatonin in, in your brain correctly okay. or something. Yeah. Um. So that's why they do the warm light, because it helps it feel like nighttime. Because so, sunset is warm, I guess. Yeah. So there's well, like. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> so there's. We have an air quality issue, ladies and gentlemen. And to hearken back to our uh, last episode, mm-hmm. you can just look it right up on your phone, like right now. You don't have to wait for the TV weatherman person. Um, you can just look it up. Here's a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So I guess we have some wildfires or something happening. And so now when you step outside, like the sun looks red mm-hmm. and the, the moon world looks like looks, an orange slice, <laughs> the world looks yellow. Uh huh. Yeah. So we're having an air quality issue. Which personally, I don't hate because you know, I'm a warm white girly. Yes. You love your <laughs> warm lighting. So I moved into my current place. And all of the light bulbs were like daylight. <laughs> yeah. And they were. S- Which and- I love. <gasps> I love the blue. Everything looked like a morgue. It was horrible. It was horrible. You switched out all of your light bulbs. I spent so much money. I went in the middle of the goddamn night. I was not living with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but I went to Walmart in the middle of the night. I bought so many boxes of their warm white. I was like that Michael Sarah meme of him just like holding a bunch of shit instead of getting a cart. But it was all light bulbs. So if I dropped them, it was going to be bad. I went home and I replaced every single light bulb. Don't get it. <laughs> no. Okay. But then when you walked into my house the next time, you were like, oh, you're right. This is nicer. You said it. That's that's just because I'm trying to support you. Oh, Not everything I say, I don't mean lie. passionately. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a disclaimer somewhere that says we're just riffing. Listen, it is much cozier. Sure, 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 sure. You've okay, been to fine. my house and you're like, oh, it's so cozy here. Oh, anyway, so nice. <laughs> that's why the sky looks like it looks. I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet. Did you see this video of the Biscuit Basin explosion in Yellowstone? Right. Holy cow. Like it it happened in a little hot pot area with Mm -hmm. a boardwalk over it. It blew the boardwalk away. Yeah. Yeah. No one was hurt. Thank goodness. Miraculously. Yeah. I will say I thought it was really human. The fact that everyone sort of stopped for a second and like was clearly very stunned before they started running yeah you know like i feel like you see all those action movies and you're like run dummy run yes and then you know being in it it's so different you're well and in yellowstone i imagine you're used to little pops here and there yeah you don't know how serious it is and pachoo but this was a kaboom right right yeah and uh and here's the aftermath check this video out a little bit it blew up the boardwalk. People running and screaming, Greg, you run away, run away. Right. In perspective, it sort of seems like a, sm- a pretty small thing, considering that we're sitting on top of the Yellowstone caldera <laughs> right now as we speak. This show sure. ought to be. I mean, I guess relatively. <laughs> yeah. But in the moment, probably not very small. Yeah. If this blows, we're all goners oh, in yeah. a instant thank goodness <laughs> it's it's okay kids if you're listening with your parents and you shouldn't be but if you're listening to the adults talk while you're sitting at the top of the stairs don't get worried it's yeah. it's probably not going to happen in our lifetime yeah you, you're going to be in la and a famous tiktoker by then don't worry kids well and also realistically like everywhere else in the country has way worse natural disasters yeah here's the thing if i'm going to be part of one I want to be wiped out. Hurricanes are almost guaranteed. Right. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to deal with stuff. (laughs) You know, I don't want to be like drowning in a, you know, random pool made by a hurricane. I don't want to be sucked into the air by a tornado. I don't, I don't want to like fall into a chasm during an earthquake. I just want to go. I want a big explosion and a little poof and that's it. (laughs) (laughs) You know? Didn't even feel it. You won't even feel it. 